Uh, Legend of Old 101 here once again with a WWE Raw review. May the 6th, 2013. Like this page, subscribe down below, and leave comments, and follow me at Twitter, Legend of Old 101. Okay, so basically, it kicks off with some footage and tweets of Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar invading WWE headquarters. I was like, okay, this is interesting. Let's see where they go with this. So then, basically, they were hyping up the whole night. Um, so basically, the first match um, starts with Randy Orton versus Damian Sandow. Straight no. Before that, Ryback and Cena and Vicky Guerrero are in the ring. Basically, Ryback makes it a last man standing match for Extreme Rules. Um, basically, John Cena is just taking me off Ryback, saying, I got attacked six times. <sighs> just taking the mic off right back to how he talks. So then basically, I ended that. Well, that was all right. John Cena did okay in that. Surprisingly, the crowd was um, cheering for everyone except for Ryback tonight. It was really weird. They were cheering for everyone except Ryback. Um, Anti Ryback crowd, it looks like. So basically, um, the first match, which I said before, was Randy Orton versus Sandow. Sandow comes out with a, a song with Randy Orton's theme tune in the background and does a little. Uh, rhyme, it was really funny. Taking me out of all and seeing how lame he is, and I just does the same old pose, does the same thing as <laughs> week after week. So basically, that was, that was funny. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's really funny. So basically, standard match, all wins, RKO. Really quick, really. I found I find it really weird that he got beat Sander that easily, and on SmackDown, he um, had a long match with him, which I found um, strange. Another rematch as usual on Raw and SmackDown. Um, then um, all of a sudden, Big Show comes out and knocks him out. Knocks out Orton. Um, Michael Cole saw it first. He was like, "Look, look, look!" And the camera panned back to Big Show and um, Orton. He said, "That was the end of that." So after that, it was our truth versus Fandango. Um, Fandango. Um, walks out on the match or well, Jericho and the Sweet Tea and um, Brodus Clay or well, I'm grading Fandango and R-Truth in the ring <laughs> R-Truth put out some good um, spots here good moves basically um, R-Truth setting up for Little Jimmy Fandango um, runs off end of that R-Truth wins by count out then after that it was Del Rio versus Ziggler Again, for the hundredth time. Um, good matches you would expect. About um, doing a lot of kicks to Ziggler. Ziggler selling like a tramp, like a champ that he is. Um, but basically, I'm um, swaggering on Cole were outside on commentary. And all of a sudden, Swagger just goes nuts. And um, well, no, Biggie Lancaster just pulls up Bird the outside the ring, throws him into Swagger. Basically, that was the DQ. The real wins by DQ. Um, then after that, Swagger just goes nuts. He just goes ape. Just uh, takes out Biggie Lance and throws Biggie Lance to the, to the post. Biggie's, Biggie's out of it. Gets a ladder underneath the rope. Spears Ricardo Riga with the ladder. It's weird, like a spear with a ladder in hand. Which takes out Ricardo. And just basically just hits Ziggler and Alberto Rue in the head of the ladder. Headshot, headshot. And Swagger just went nuts. And just went. Yeah, you humming that. Love that tune. Love that tune. Walks out, looks, stands tall over. Ziggler. <sighs> Ziggler. Looking weak once again. So basically, after that, it's the Shield versus Kofi and the Usos. Some more Sam, some more Sam. Um, Usos do pretty well in this match. Kofi doesn't really have much time in the match because he's when he gets pinned by Ambrose. But it's really weird because Ambrose is kind of like looking at the United States Championship when the referee brought it in. So I don't know where they got they're teasing different titles where the Shield could go after. They're really teasing it. Um, and SmackDown had Caden and Daddy Ryan's tag titles. They're teasing that. 
and tonight they were teasing the United States Championship um, hunt as well. So, uh, and plus the Usos, they should be used more. It's just ridiculous now. Why is Kofi in this match? He's the top, he's a champion, and he should not be involved in this kind of ridiculous match matchups right now. He should not be facing the Shield. Um, after that, Cesaro versus Woo Woo Woo. You know it versus um Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder just does not care anymore. He just he gave up now. Zack like, Ryder just give it up. He's just going out there and just doing what the heck he wants to do now. Basically saying yeah, Ryder, do, just do what you're doing now. Just, just go out and just do what the heck you want. That's basically what happened in this match. Zack Ryder just does what the heck he wants. Nose back in the head. Just, he, he don't care about it anymore. Um, Cesaro wins the neutralizer. I would expect. But then Cesaro just goes nuts after. He just goes, yeah, it's just all you have for me, WWE, basically. That's what he says. Vince. Talking to Vince right now. Um, basically, I'm better than this. There's no one better than me on this roster. So then at the end of that segment, so then all of a sudden, Paul Heyman's via satellite. Talking, um, showing footage of him. Lesnar um, invading headquarters. Going into H's um, office. And Lesnar just destroying it. Uh, and then Paul Heyman throws out his card, calling cards, basically said, um, there's no worry here. No, um, that it was us. So then, Heyman's got the, the um, beaten up replica world title where H has in his office on his shoulder, just holding it throughout the whole in um, interview. And all of a sudden, H comes out. Then, H goes, Heyman, it doesn't matter that you attack my high quarter office, my real office, sir. He's in the ring guy. Ah. So then that was the end of that segment. <laughs> basically, that was it. So basically what he said. Um, and after that is um, Caitlyn and the Funkadactyls. Funk is on a roll versus Light it up! AJ Lee and the Bella Twins. You look what you can touch. You do be ba 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 Bella Twins. Um, not even getting to this match. AJ and Caitlyn will well, we started off with AJ and um, Cameron. Cameron just gets demolished throughout most, most of it. Tags Caitlyn in. Caitlyn spears AJ and that's basically it. Now me and the Bellas did even get a touch in this match. The Bellas ran off, left AJ to get speared. That's basically how it ended. Um, yeah. Kind of pointless the match really. Kind of pointless. We already established Caitlyn could beat AJ. Um, so that did nothing for anyone. Um, a random match but good to see him on TV good to see that he's to be doing more of this not just tag matches singles matches also um, then after that Sheamus versus Wade Barrett but Mark Henry comes up before the match and talks about Sheamus <laughs> how all he does is um, attack Mark Henry like basically just joke around and attack him when he's not looking or when he ain't ready so then Mark Henry goes, it's been a long time since I've been extreme. And all of a sudden, Seamus comes out and goes, you right, fella? And Mark Henry goes, yeah, that's what you can do, joke. He goes, do you want to fight? I'll fight right now. And Mark Henry takes me some pen and destruction shirt. And so does Seamus take up his unbooted head shirt. Then they get ready to fight. And all of a sudden, the way back comes out. Then what's your dad come back? Comes out, way back, comes out. Um, you don't know what he's doing with his um, gimmick right now. He's, all of a sudden, he's got his blazer again. Uh, he used to come out in jeans and just be street, man. Just, gee, he's coming with a cap or something. Like, it's just like, he used to be street. Street look, love. He used to have a street look. He's a bare knuckle fighter, for goodness sake. He used to be throwing fists. Just, just not doing wrestling, just like, pow, pow, pow. Just be demolishing guys. Just knock out punches. Forget Big Show. He used to be just knocking people out himself. Um. Uh, there was a point in the match, Sheamus was feigned uh, uh, pushing on Mark Henry. Mark Henry just goes, <gasps> falls off the chair. And I was, I quite, that was quite funny, you know, Mark Henry fan. That was quite funny. So Mark Henry gets up and goes, Sheamus gives him a bro kick for like the third time in this feud. Um, Mark Henry's um, on the floor out. Um, trainers come out to help him out. Uh, Sheamus is about to hit the bro kick. Actually, no, he does hit the bro kick. One, two, three, I'm way Barrett. Um, Mark Henry runs the ring with a, with a belt, took it when the belt off the trainers and starts whipping him. I'm gonna beat you, but you stuck, you stole something. You just shake, you just shake, and starts beating him down. 
ripping him all the welts on his back, they show it zooming to his back. Uh, Walsh only slams him, boom. Because I see you laughing now. Come on, make a joke. And everyone's like in shock, as usual. Everyone loves Mark Henry. He's the shortest someone. Uh, he's the best monster right now, Mark Henry. Um, so that's yeah, that. Looking forward to Mark Henry Sheamus Extreme Rules. That's the only match I'm really looking forward to, really, at uh, this whole pay per view. Mark Henry Sheamus. Um, so, <laughs> someone's um, cutting the grass outside. <laughs> Distracting. But um, next, Ryback versus Kane. Uh, Ryback defeats Kane pretty easily, even though Kane obviously put up a good match. Good fight in this um, match. But Ryback defeats him. All of a sudden, Shield come out. Delta Shield. Daddy Ryan runs out. Um, Ryback hides in, um, in the corner. Um, and they come to the ring. Ceno come, runs out. Ryan comes out. Ah, oh, Ceno again. He comes out. Shield get, get run off by Ryback with a steel chair. They run off. Ryback's got a steel chair. Um, Ryback just demolishes Cena with the chair and stands tall. Ryback rules. <sighs> so that's basically him like standing tall at the end. Even though we know he ain't winning the title. Uh, that's just him looking strong at the end even though it was a bit cheap shot. Um, so yeah, that's the end of Raw. Uh, it was alright. It was alright really. Um, oh, and um, also Caden gets another gift or something. Stuff like that backstage. Um, basically, he says something about how she still looks impressive wearing a dress, even though know, she bench presses how much weight or something like that. So, that's a clue that someone who, um, who likes weightlifting. So, I think that's a clue that someone who likes weightlifting is interested in Caden. So that's the end of Raw. Like this page, subscribe down below, leave comments, and follow me at Legend of Old 101. Peace.